Welcome back to this week's episode of Sportsman's Journal. Today, finally, we are bringing the boat out. Excitement is brewing. We are very excited. It's been a long winter. Um, the ice obviously has been hanging on. The yeah. snow has been hanging on. To say the least, it's been hanging it's on. It's weeks behind. We are super Quite pumped. different from last year. Very different, very different from, from last yes. year. So we actually had dates planned in the book to head up to Vilas County, which is where we're at. We're at beautiful Red Pebble Lodge, yep. located in the heart of Vilas County. And we actually had this trip planned weeks ago. We had the date on the calendar. We had all of it lined up and Mother Nature said no. Nope. She no said winter's gonna stay for another month or two and or three or whatever. The ice is still on the lake where Red Pebble is located. And so we're uh, headed south. Yep. But we saw a couple lakes on the way we up. We did. So we know the, we can get out. Right. We, we know we can get on. <laughs> Southern Biles County, Oneida County, they're starting to lose some of the ice is starting to break off. Uh, the smaller lakes are starting to open up. And that's what we're gonna concentrate on is a, a couple smaller lakes. We're gonna see what we can get. And we have a plan for that. We do have a plan, <laughs> but you know what? We did this last year in Northern Wisconsin. Water temp similar? Yep, similar water temp, low 40s, mid 40s. Maybe we do have something figured maybe out. Maybe we can do something. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we figured out something. So we're coming up here. We got a couple of lakes that opened up. We've had three beautiful days yep. in a row, and we're, mid 60s. We're days away from the opener. Yep. Um, so, you know, it's not quite as busy, but we know it's gonna start getting yeah, busy. A lot people, of people are gonna start showing up and enjoying itching it. Itching to get up. They're yep. itching to find out if the ice is off. Um, but like Tyler said, it's been a nice couple days. It has been. We it's can been see beautiful. the ice blackening and starting yeah. to break up. Um, so we think that there will be several lakes open yeah. for opener. Right. But um, the lake we're on, the lake that we're headed to is, is smaller. Smaller and it's a really good largemouth bass lake. So we're hoping our plan all comes together. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to try. And if we don't get anything for you guys, we apologize. Well, you won't even know. <laughs> they won't even know. We'll be scrapping it. Yeah, yeah we won't even know. But stay tuned. We will be right back and we'll see you in the boat. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. Plan your next fishing trip at northlandtackle.com. Before we even get started for the day, before we even cast a line, and because it's cold and we want the water temp to warm up yeah, a hair. We do, and it's supposed to <laughs> yeah, today. Yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's supposed to be nice. So um, we thought we'd sit down and just kind of break down the bait that we're using and why we're using it. Right. Um, and we have so much confidence in this bait. We've had we a do. lot of success on it. Yep. Um, we've had success on it last year. We've had success on it already this year in, in Lake South of where we are now. Yep. Southern Wisconsin. So we're excited to cast yeah. the flat balls of bee. We are. I, we filmed with this last year and we talked about that in the intro a mm -hmm. little bit. It's a great cold water bait. And I, specifically designed. It's specifically designed for cold water. And for if you water. don't fish flat sided cranks, you're missing out big time because LMBs especially have a tough time passing them up. So we're really, I'm excited about this. I waited all winter for the ice to finally go yes. out and it finally did. And we're getting blessed with phenomenal. It's been a late phenomenal ice weather. Um, for those of you who don't remember, but um, it's been a, it's been a it's long, been a crazy winter, long mm. winter. Yeah. And it's taken everybody, everybody's got cabin fever. Everybody's ready to get out. The ice is, was holding on. Finally, it went out yep. and water temp is about, um, about where we were last year. It's actually a little above, it's 49. But um, when we were here last year, the ice had been out several weeks. That's right. It's that's been right. out three days. And we, so, caught, and we slammed the largemouth bass with the flat sided yeah. balsa bee. And I, we just want to talk about this bait a little bit. Yeah, and I think, so it's, it's specifically designed for cold water. Yeah. So what does that mean? Right, it's got a really tight wobble. The flat crankbait's got a really tight wobble on it. And that's the triggering aspect of this bait because it's very versatile. You can twitch it and it's just like a stick bait because of the flat sides. Mm -hmm. So it's got a little bit, I want to say erratic presentation in a little the water bit of when a you jerk. twitch it. So you can fish it shallow. It's got the, it's got the square bill, the circuit board bill. So you're bouncing, bouncing off logs, yeah. sticks, lily pads, whatever. You're not mm -hmm. getting snagged up and yep. that adds to it. You run it, pops it back up, keep mm -hmm. running it again. Or you just traditional crank, cast it, yep. straight retrieve. And it's got that really tight wobble that makes largemouth bass go nuts. Yeah, I'm, so I'm super excited because last year we tore it up. Like Sarah said, we got a ton of confidence in this bait. We're gonna go use them right now. We're gonna stop jabbering and we're gonna start casting. 
and hopefully get some fish so we get out there and go. Yeah. Let's do it. I gotta warm up a little bit. Yeah, warm so, up. It's yeah. gonna be hot today. Big fish. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a flash. I saw it, and he came up and just ch -ch -ch, like pecked at it. I don't know, it was so fast. Well, that's saves. There, I just had another one just whack mine. That see that that felt like a good there. That's a bass. That's a bass. Yeah, it's a good fish. Came out and whacked it. Oh, about got your line here, sweets. All right. Not a bad first no, fish. That's what a we're great after. Fish. Coming in. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at the mouth on that lady yes. there. Wow. Nice job. Here, let me get hey. out of the way. We got one. Yes. We got one. That was... You gotta you gotta start with one. He's hooked a little goofy. Bottom lip. Well, I'm gonna do my best here. Look at this fish. We guys. both cast out. Wow. And Tyler saw a flash and then I had mine at the pause, had something flash and then Look at that thing. That's nice. nice that is fish. how we like starting. Unbelievable. It. I just Five pound large mouth to get things yeah. going. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Woo. I nice love work. it. Thank you. All right. I'm having fun now. I love the Northwoods, Whoa. northern Wisconsin. So many opportunities. And now with that catch and release bass season, we've talked about this before. Get up here, take advantage of it. Monster bass to be had. That is a dandy. I love it. Get her back in there. Good, good start. That's a big fish. That is a dandy, dandy bass. We'll take it. That's good awesome. Good start. Yep. Yes. Happy about that. I think that bass chased both of yeah. us in and then finally. This shoreline is a little, this is a steep breaking shoreline and I'm slow rolling the Bagley flat sided B and I brought that in real slow and then right next to the boat we start twitching it. That's kind of been what we've been doing. And what did we do? We just started that two, two chases, two whacks. And that's what he's been doing. And this fish came up and whacked it. Took her all the way down. <laughs> Oh yeah. Putting a pattern together. That's what it's all about. I just had another one. Oh my gosh, guys. Big fish. Okay, wow. I'm just putting the net away to big fish. pick my rod big back fish, up. Big fish. Okay, okay. Another oh my gosh. Do you yep, see this yep, thing? Yep, I see it. That was the very whoa, 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 whoa. next cast. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. I know, I was literally putting the net away. That was awesome. I haven't even picked my rod yet up. Uh, they're kind of stacking up here. Okay, where are you at? I don't where know. are you at? He's up, he's up by the here, here, here he is, right oh. here, right here, right here, okay. right here. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. The face on that thing is oh huge. Oh my gosh. Are you guys ready to see this? Yeah. Uh, if you're not fishing flat sided cranks, oh my gosh. You're missing the boat big time. Wow. Wait till I put this thing up. You're caught on the net too, so. Look at this fish. Wow. I want, to, I want to show it off with the bait in his mouth, you know what I mean? Wow. Might not get the chance here. here. Let me help, let me help, stop. It's one little hook there, can you get that off there? Yeah, I'm shaking, that's back to back cast. Oh no, I think we're caught like. Two huge largies. Oh, there we go, there we go. Can you get that? Oh my there goodness. You go. Look at that guys. So awesome. Unbelievable. Wow. What a blast. <laughs> This is going to become an annual thing, I think, Sarah. Oh, I'd say so. Look at that fish. A fish like that. Holy cow. Wow. Back to back giants. Unbelievable. I just caught 10 pounds of bass in two casts. That's so awesome. In northern Wisconsin, that's pretty impressive. What a fish. Wow. You know what I like about these baits even more, hon? What's that? You can wing these things a country mile. Yes, they are easy to cast. I'm about to hit that cast. pontoon that just went by on my last cast. Well, Unbelievable. they probably wouldn't be too happy No, Bagley does a good job. They got them counterbalanced pretty good for flinging them. For a balsal bait, that's pretty crucial to be able to wing them a long ways, and we're able to do that. Yeah, I have absolutely no issues casting. No, I don't think we've, me might have had, you you had like one or two backlashes. Right. I'm backlash free. Mm -hmm. But a, a key component on working a jerk bait, twitch bait, crank bait really good is rod. And of course, Sarah and I are both using Kramer Custom Rods. KCR. KCRs as usual. And Eric makes a really good casting stick. We're both using seven foot X11 Pro Bass series of his, of his bait casting rods. And 
what I like about them is really small eyelets. And we talk about that a lot with spinning gear, but it especially holds true with bait casting equipment. You want those small eyes so it keeps that line really, really close to the rod. So on windy conditions, you're not getting a lot of bows. And that helps for flinging these balsal baits out there because balsal's light and getting far cast, like we said, is crucial, especially clear water. And early in the season when fish are starting to suck up shallow, you don't want to have your boat right on top of them. Both of us actually have mono on, a uh, 12 pound test. And we like mono for pulling baits or for dragging baits, cranking baits, because we don't like ripping hooks out. So mono gives you a little bit of stretch. 12, 12 pounds seems to be really good. It's keeping us in that six foot. You know, you go a little heavier, you're not gonna get down as deep with heavier diameter line. So that 12, we like that 12 pound. And we're just having a good time out here catching LMBs. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, uh, that looks good. It feels good, it feels good. Charging the boat, here we come. Oh boy, fish. I cannot tell, or other I have it snagged, I'm not sure yet. I think it's a bass. I think it's a bass. I think it's a bass. I think we got the right species here. Did he pop it pretty good? Um, oh, that's a nice bass. Yeah, yeah, you got a hook on their jaw, but that's a thick fish. Yes. Do you want the net on him or you got Not him? Not terrible. Well, he's, I, don't, I barely have him hooked, but. Boy, they're thick. Don't worry, I'll get it. Good. My partner here. Well, I'm casting to where you just wow. caught him. I'm not I'm not a fool. There you go. I got to get him with my left hand. Oh. <laughs> right before he got, got him off. in, yeah. Nice. Snag that one. Obviously, he. They're pretty. We've been blaming on the bass. Obviously, swinging a miss, but yes, fun. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. For their full lineup of UPF gear, check out strikerbrands.com. One thing that Sarah and I do every time we go fishing, no matter if it's for crappies, bluegills, bass, muskies, whatever, we try to put a pattern together and everybody tries to do that when they go out. But one thing that every single bass so far has had in common that we caught is it's relating to that dark bottom, that weed break or that weed bed, weed edge, steep shoreline here that we're fishing now. But you can see that dark little band all the way around. It's like right at about five, six feet. That's this, the weed that we've been talking about, the weed line, that's where it starts. And that's perfect camo for the, especially the big females. They go along, they come up from the depths early like this, right after ice out, and they start cruising. That break line, looking for food. And that's the key thing, because that warms up so fast, that dark bottom just sucks in sunlight. And those fish are soaking into that, just like the sunlight is into that weed line. That's a fish. You got him. Yeah, it's a fish. Oh, it's a bass. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Geez. Good or no? He's putting up a fight. Um, Do you need the net or you got him? I got him. He you got was, him. It's a good He was fish. shallower, so I was twitching it. Oh Can't, my gosh, I hate this part. He came up and wrapped it, huh? Okay. Hey, you swung a fish in. I did. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good. There we go. Nice. Hey. That's a. That's not bad. That's, that's going to be a 20 inch in a couple years. Oh, thank Look you. at the size of the head on the thing. Yeah. yeah, you actually you just caught what? you caught a 15 incher, but you could say it's 20 because it'll probably live to be 20. You know what I mean? It's catching up to Tyler's size, but hey. Put it back. Come on, this might be a bass. Whoa! Have you seen it yet? No. It's a bass. It's a bass? Yep. Good one or it's hot? Yeah, it's warming up fast. That's actually a really good fish. Well, I, mean, I got one hook in him, but I, I think I got don't, him. If you want the net. I got him. He's coming right to me. Look at that. There we go, guys. Another nice fish. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. You are on fire. I love it. I love it. Okay. Cranks are working, hon. Yeah. You know what? You, you wait for the, you wait all winter to get out here in the spring and hit it. And the ice just goes off, what, three days ago? Yeah, it has not been on long. This, on this particular lake, so we knew it was gonna be a good chance that it might be too early, but we have, since the ice went out. We were crossing our fingers. Yeah, three super duper warm days in a row. Almost reaching 70, so that water temp went up really fast. and went from 39 to 51. And we're catching big bass on on the flat side, the balsam bees, I love it. Nice. 
No. Just staying weedy. There we go. We talked about we've been talking about the weeds all day, pretty much, haven't we? It's been a weed. It's been a weed. It's been a weed bite. But here's basically what these shallow lakes are covered with up here in northern Wisconsin. Fern leaf pond weed is what this is. And they act like a big mat on the bottom of the lake. Those things cover the entire lake and it gives it that really dark bottom. So when we're talking about that weed line, that's what we're fishing is that pond weed. And that weed just sucks in so much, so much sunlight. And three days of nice weather, ice out Friday. We're fishing on Tuesday. 65 out water temp is 54 that's crazy but these small shallow lakes like that it's amazing how fast they can warm up and this particular lake like we said it's just covered from two foot down to 20 foot with this pond weed and it's just this is a big carpet sucks in sunlight and that's what you're looking for if, it's especially like a heated floor it's like a heated floor right of the of your lake it's a, exactly what it is there and it warms up quick and those fish want to suck into that a lot because they want to get warm and that's where food's going to start that's where you're your plankton is going to start developing, your small fish are going to come in there, and your big predator fish, your big largemouth bass, your big females, pre-spawners are going to come in there. This is better. Did you see what it is? Oh my goodness, that is a dandy. That is a dandy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a it's dandy It's still a nice bass. Careful. I'm gonna bring him right into you. Boy, he's fighting good. We're gonna try for 50 degree water temp. Come on in there, buddy. Oh my yes. goodness, got him. Good okay. job. It's the Tyler show. I'll take the Tyler show. Oh. <laughs> They're loving the chartreuse root beer. They like that color. Look at this fish, guys. Holy cow! Wait till you see this thing's mouth. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna get a good handle on you. Yes, look at that. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? What a blast. You know what, when the winters are long, I can wait for this. That is phenomenal fish. Look at the head on that bass. For North Country fish, that is a big bass. I don't care where you're fishing up here in the North Country. That is a huge LMB. Well, wow. I think we should talk about the weeds too. That I'm I mean, loving it. It's hanging off your yeah, right. Hanging off your lure there, that's, that's what's soaking in the warmth. They're soaking, exactly right, Sarah. That dark bottom is heating up super fast. It's main lake is 46, 47. You come in here, it's 50. They're right on that transition where that weed's starting to bay and the main lake, it's about, uh, we're fishing at about seven foot right now. Dandy fish. I love that, fault, that flat sided bee hanging out of his mouth too, unreal. That's pretty cool. Sarah, you can get me the yep, pliers. Thank you very, very much. Doing. Wow. I'm shaking. This is a huge bass. Unbelievable. Is, the mouth on that thing is incredible. Uh, we fell in love with the Bagley's last year, and for good reason. We are catching huge bass. Look at that bucket mouth. That is insane. Holy cow. Wow. Just a dandy fish. Yeah. Big, big that's girl. Impressive. This is fun. Yeah. Wow. I love we, it. We I should, love it. We I love should it. break out the scale for yeah, that one. But. That's a big fish. <laughs> Let's get her back in there. Here, I'll get this out of the way. What a dandy. The Rumble Series from Northland Tackle. The Rumble Shiner. The Rumble Shad. The Rumble Stick. The Rumble Bug. Durability, action, colors, and fishability that trigger the bites. Northland Tackle. We are walleye. Tyler and I got off the water a little bit late last night, and being it was the first time in the boat, and we did a lot of casting, mm -hmm. and I had on bibs because it was cold. Made some cast, yeah, a little chilly. I was a little bit sore. But it warmed up nicely, yeah. You were tired. Sore. Come on. And I was, I'm just going to say it, I was hangry. So I said, we are not doing a conclusion tonight. We can do it tomorrow. Right. Which is today. And I think a little bit of the ingredients that went into making you hangry was the fact that I was on fire. That may <laughs> have been a 
ingredient that played a part. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I uh, did just as much casting as Tyler, and yep. I do not have the bag to show it. Nope. But um, uh, chartreuse root beer. That's how it happens. For sometimes. everybody keeping score at home, that's the color. That's new by Bagley's too. And obviously a it, winner. It, it worked good. Mm -hmm. Caught a lot of nice fish. Those four bass, those big bass that that I caught were probably. That was one of the biggest bass days I've had in Northern Wisconsin. That was And a couple of those were pushing PBs, personal bass. Yeah. Those were beautiful, beautiful fish. The cool thing about finding those small, weedy, fertile lakes, we have a couple in our pocket mm -hmm. that we like to fish. Yes, we do. And they warm up super fast. As Sarah said out in the boat, it's like it's got a heated floor in them with that yeah. weed coverage all over the lake. Yeah. It sucks in sunlight. They warm up fast and don't be scared to get out there. Take advantage of the early season bass season in Wisconsin. Spitless yeah. County is very popular. Very popular. Beautiful place. A yep. um, lot of anglers come up here, but we didn't have to contend with anybody else out on the lake yet. That's nice. That's always nice to have the whole place to yourself, kind of. It did. It felt and good. that's <laughs> the kind of same thing with Red Pebble. You get this beautiful, beautiful place all to yourself. Yeah, we can talk about Red Pebble and, and Vilas County. Um, so I, one of the reasons that I enjoy coming up here so much is that not only do we get to fish, um, obviously it's an angler's paradise, yep. but there are so many other things to do. So if you have people in your group who maybe like to fish, but not as hardcore, um, you can take a day off and you can go to the flea markets or you can go on one of the hiking trails in the state forest. Yep. There's so many amazing things. And like, we're just sitting here in this beautiful great room and just relaxing. I've got some snacks and I'm uh, gloating. <laughs> Tyler's, Tyler's gloating. He's looking over pictures. And, yep. oh, gosh, I, I did such a good I'm job. Taking, oh. I'm taking the balsa flat B that chartreuse rip beer it's going on the old mantle that was a jim dandy of a bait caught a lot of fish i'm going to get a couple more of them you had a phenomenal day absolutely um but you know so it just all kind of ties the trip together yeah. um we feel accomplished everybody hope you guys had a good time hope you enjoyed it hope you took something away from it for sarah trampy i'm tyler trampy we'll see you again all next week on the sportsman's journal for more information on Red Pebble Lodge, check out redpebblelol.com and experience the Northwoods.